the magnificence that the Lord is going to bring us back to. You know, and this is something that we have to envision because we're going to be brought back to greatness because our power is going to be set back up and people are going to laud and praise him. His Messiah, Yahweh Shai, is going to be lauded and praised. So the men of the Lord that are lauded and praised are going to have those laws, statutes, and commandments inside of them to be able to reestablish righteousness on the earth and then the nations will be in awe once again and even in more awe because of the magnificence the awe that the queen of sheba was in that's going to pale in comparison to the awe of the kingdom you know i'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it you know the queen of sheba she had no life left in her when she saw the splendor of king solomon's majesty and his kingdom his servants how they were arrayed and everything so just imagine the kingdom of heaven you know and these nations are gonna go back to that they're gonna go back to reverencing us you know not looking at us as niggas and spicks and spooks and wetbacks and tontos and all that but looking at us in our respective state of being an israelite you know, man or woman you know of our particular tribe whether it be judah benjamin levi ephraim simeon whatever you know it's gonna go back to that it's gonna go back to the majestic lording of Yahweh Bashim Shai and the people of the Mosai, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that have been downtrodden, that have been called outcasts, that have been called the forsaken, are gonna get back that power, are gonna get back that vigor, are gonna get back that status of greatness that we had at one time. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And we're witnessing the beginning of that, of us being established. But this is speaking about in the kingdom. It says, and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. So we're going to be exalted above all of the hills, meaning all of these other nations and their governments. Because out of every nation and government on the planet that ever ruled an empire and the great civilizations that ever ruled, that's going to be nothing compared to the kingdom of heaven, compared to the law, statutes, and commandments in the kingdom of heaven, compared to the majesty of the kingdom. Because it's not just only going to be on the planet Earth, it's going to be in the different planets all over the universe. It says, and all nations shall flow into it. And why are all these nations going to flow into it? Because they are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High to be established once again on the planet because they know that once that happens things are going to be set back up into the right order